Welcome back everyone. My name is Elton Martin. We're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. Where we left off last time, we were just in Winter Sun. Uh, there are two things remaining for us to do here. The first is go explore this cage and find more of egg here. You see a young crusader from the Everbright Crusaders. Commander, my name is Morveg. You might remember me, or my mentor, Kyre, or Sire. Thank the gods you're here. I need help. An old temple of Gorum is here in this cave. I've come here for a weapon, a powerful weapon. It's a sword, and it's stored down here. Master Kyre would never agree to use it. That's why I came here without him. Believe me, this relic will be very useful in fighting demons, but I can't get it alone. I need your help. Are you alright? Perception check? You notice the young man's pale and sweating face, but his voice is firm. I'm alright, Commander. Don't worry about me. What kind of weapon are you looking for? It's called the Fang of Malice. It's a sword devoted to Gorum. A long time ago, in the times of Sarkoris, his shrine used to stand here. The Fang is the perfect weapon. With it, the Crusaders will be invincible. Why do you need my help? There's a demon up ahead, a huge and horrible monster, who I could never defeat by myself. The beast gobbled up my guide in one go. Help me kill the monster. People say you're a fearless warrior, the best in the crusade, or even the whole country. You can handle anything. And then, your mythic power. Everything points to you to being the hero everyone has been waiting for. Morveg's voice breaks. I'll kill the demon. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I'm not strong enough for this fight. May Gorum bless you with his power. Morveg holds his talisman tightly. A straw wolf figure. He closes his eyes and begins to chant. Rungarbar, Todan Katar, Gorum Lach. Did, did he actually cast a spell? I don't think he cast a spell. I think he just did some words. So let's get Delay Poison on, and uh, yeah, drones are just going to be something we have to deal with. We didn't get any attacks with our main character because he was confused the whole time, and decided just to not do anything. Uh, we did have all sorts of things to help us, but uh, yeah, that didn't work out. Alright, let's roll this way, and then this way, and then... 180 to here, save. Soot is restless. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I wonder why. Because there's a huge demon. I forgot all about this guy. This is a rough fight. I remember being one of the more annoying fights. I wonder if we can charge him to start the fight. Never stop learning. I think we did get to go first. We did not get to do any damage though. Uh, move up a little. You can just move. Well, do your evil eye and then move. That else. was not evil eye, even though I clicked on it. Fine, whatever, I don't care. We do have a surprise round. This is kind of nice. Moving up there. Get this going. Move up here. You might have a really good initiative. We don't know. Uh, we can't summon anything this turn. Fireball, go! Spell resistance. Good times. Not a single hit. We need to move Ember, like, really far away. Hopefully she won't get too... Cloud-killed. The fact that it can Cloud-kill and drone on the same turn is extremely annoying. Maybe we should get Smite Evil on this thing. Alright. Well, we did do an attack on it. That's a plus. Just didn't do anything useful. Um, moving up here. Getting out of the Cloud-kill a little bit if we can. I doubt this is going to do anything. Two whole dam- damn. That was- that could not have gone worse, actually. I mean, I guess we could have done zero damage, but two damage was almost as bad. What are we looking at for hit points here? 650 hit points. We've done uh, 21 damage, except that hasn't counted because it is enraged. Can we dispel magic on it? That is an actually a really good idea. We can try and dispel things off of it. Mage armor's gone. That'll help us out a little. Okay, that's helped a little. The Guide my blade. Good. Uh, we can attack. Should we get more mirror images, though? We'll have last hand. Awful. Okay, moving further away. We can do a summon. Let's get one of our guys up. Uh, Arushalai's in a fine position. Nothing really going on here. Except no hits. Good times. Moving. Uh, what else do you have for spells? Actually, let's see if we should dispel more things. 
Uh, mirror image, we could maybe... Oh, no, it has a feature. That's not what it has on. What does it have on right now? It has... Blood Rage is permanent. Freebooter's Bane, that's us. Seed Invisibility. Okay, so it has Seed Invisibility, but that's not really a big deal. We could just try to do some damage to it, or we could just Evil Eye it. I think that's probably the best choice. Okay. So we're just going to be last standing soon anyways. Uh, I need to get Darren out of here. He can move a little. We'll heal, because why not? Nice, we got a little bit more damage there. So it comes to this. Couple hits there, that was not too bad. That thing is still not doing anything. Excellent, good job, you're really helping out the team here. Let's just keep going, more of them. Yes. Help out the team a little bit more this time, please. I will resist. Ooh, that was a good critical hit there. 70 damage. More attack. Oh, another drone. That sucks. Darren did not get droned, though. More healing. You're fine. Go back this way. I think she might be immune to drone or something. That was a solid round for her. We're hurt. Oh, these guys are droned out. I see. That was a pretty good round, too. Um, What can we do? Should we try and slumber it? We could... How long is Evil Eye on it for? Another six seconds. We could cackle. Uh, we can also put Protective Luck on our main character and try that, and then cackle it out. <laughs> Didn't really help the situation, to be honest. But I'm to our last... Maybe we don't have last stand up. That would actually be really bad for us. God damn it. Oh, these guys are doing stuff now. That's good. Um... Well, at least he's down. I guess he's not dead, technically, so... Live and learn, I suppose. Uh, what else can we do here? Control fireball, I guess. Uh, Nothing. Desna, guide my hand. So close to killing him. It's possible we're gonna win this. Not 100% sure on that, but... Spell resistance again. She doesn't have a mirror image, so, uh, yeah. No glory without risk. Why is she not hasted? Is she slowed and hasted at the same time? That was a very slow attack round. Fine, whatever. Um... If I stand up, I'm just gonna get knocked down again. Well, maybe not. But definitely, yes. The game speed just turned itself down. Weird. Did, uh... How come our game speed's so slow now? Hang on. Momentary... thing? Where's turn-based mode? Don't think it's under difficulty. Maybe in a game. No, the animation speeds and stuff are all high-leveled, so I don't know. It's just going slow for whatever reason it just wanted to. No damage at all. Sila might be last standing or going down. I don't know which one yet. Freaking drone. We have no more heals as a group. Uh, we could try and bone shaker him, I guess. Spell resistance, of course. And she is out. He is... Oh, he stood up. And did an attack. Oh my god. He's gonna die next turn, isn't he? Probably. She's... Yeah, our other attacks are going super slow for some reason. Alright, well we did it. The demon is dead. You defeated him. Follow me. The temple is very near. Alright, who's confused and who do we need to keep people away from? Arushale is not confused. And we all leveled up, so there we go. Our main character is healing. Let's uh, do a level. Let's do all our level stuff. So, fighter again, more strength. We're gonna go with our four major things that we're leveling up, just in case. Uh, greater what? 
you know what? I'm going to pull up my build because I've already messed up Nenio's build because I was winging it before, although I did get greater spell penetration, which I do not regret, but I do sort of in that we can't uh, we can't now do lore master for a little bit, but that's fine. Um, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Let me load up the build here. Doot. What level are we turning, by the way? We are turning level 12. Uh, there's one of two abilities we can use, I think. Whenever you reduce an enemy to zero, you can make a persuasion check to intimidate and demoralize all enemies. That's a pretty good one. We need more persuasion, though, so we're going to start focusing on that after we do weapon specialization scythe. Uh, this gives us more damage on our rolls. Very important. Grabbing that. That's all there is for him. Sila, time to load up her build. Everything is going to be fine with... Actually, I think she just goes... Um, if I'm not mistaken, we just go paladin with her at this point for a while. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yep, paladin. Alright, I mean, we're all done freebooter at this point, and the so high, so... We just need to go Paladin for a bit. Level 6, Paladin. Uh, strength or Charisma? We could do Charisma. It is useful. And it would get her to that plus 3 range. Okay, what's she turning? 12? So we need... Okay, uh, we'll just do Strength for now. We'll do Charisma later. There'll be one point to put in Charisma at the end, so that'll be fine. And we're going to take our Mercy as diseased, I think. Yeah, we'll try diseased. And we're done with that. Scroll Savant. We should be doing Lore Master. That was my fault. Oh, well, it's fine. Everything is fine. We can get new spells. We can get Phantasmal Petrifaction. A pretty good spell, I gotta say. Uh, we can also get things like Hellfire. Actually, we're gonna get Hellfire Ray. Super important. And maybe True Seeing is also really good. Let me just pull up our actual build. See what I was gonna get for spells for her. Level 6. Um, we're at Sirica. We got Heroism, Hellfire Ray. We can also get Chain Lightning. That's another good one. True Sight's also pretty good. We'll get that later. Ember. I'm gonna go ahead and load hers up. I don't think she gets anything but spells this level. Uh, level 12. Oh, no, she gets a Hex as well. Doot. Charisma. Doot, doot, doot. Those ones. And she's going to take... I was going to take Agony, but I think I'm going to go with something different. Um, let's see... No, I think I will take Agony. The target is, is nauseated for a number of rounds equal to the witch's level, for it negates the effect. If it's failed, it can still attempt a saving throw. Oh, it don't it actually doesn't work at all. It's not like um e yeah, it's not like Evil Eye where it still works for one round. Okay. Let's do Deflection isn't going to be super helpful for us. I will take Agony. We'll try it out. It's almost guaranteed not to work very well, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, we're going to take Greater rest or greater uh, Heroism. Or Hellfire. I know we're going to go Hellfire Ray first. Greater Heroism will be coming up soon. Oh, we also need Dispel Magic, though. We're going to go with Dispel Magic Greater for now. It's really useful. Although Hellfire Ray is extremely good, too. And this is kind of a... Oh, this is a painful one. Alright, we're gonna go with Dispel Magic. We'll grab Hellfire Ray, because it's very important to our build. But then again, so is Dispel Magic. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, we're going level 13. No, yeah, we're going level 12. Okay. Uh, Arushale. Where are you at? Level 12. You become Snapshotty. And just give her Dex. Do, 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 do. Um... Actually, no. Doot doot. There we go. Snapshot. Greater snapshot? 
Improve snapshot? Did I miss something before? No, well, greater snapshot it is. Done. And Darren's last level. We need to cure some things too here. I think Darren just goes pure Oracle at this point, although he might have another point in Sorcerer later on. Nope, just uh, just Oracle from here on out. He doesn't get anything special this level either. So, Charisma. Those things. Oh, we do get something in this level. We're going to take... We'll take Spirit Boost. Whenever your healing spells heal a target up to its maximum hit points, excess points persist for one round as temporary hit points. It can be really useful when we accidentally mass heal our group. The other one that's really good is Combat Healer. And, uh, I mean, Spells the Cure you can cast as a swift action if you use the Quicken Spell feat by expending two spell slots. It does not increase the level of the spell. So we can Quicken spells randomly, which also is super useful. But I think I'm gonna go Spirit Boost for now. Yeah. And then we get a new level 2 spell. Awesome. Always wanted more level 2 spells. We're gonna take Delay Poison. We need more of those, apparently. And then level 3. We're gonna grab... Probably Prayer. Although, I don't know why he's got a negative to Dispel Magic. It's also an extremely useful spell. I think I might take Dispel Magic. Why is it negative? Does he just have bad dispel magics or something? Is that part of his oracle thing? Does he have a negative for that? Of his, like, subtype of oracle? Uncanny dodge, powerless. Doesn't look like he's bad at dispelling. I could be wrong though. Though it really doesn't look like it, so I think I'm gonna just go with this spell. It's a very useful spell, and even though he doesn't have a spell pen, I don't think. Or maybe he does, I don't know. I remember what I gave him, but we're gonna give him that, and we're gonna take movement? No. Well, maybe. Death Ward. Although Ember already has it, but we could also use it on him. It's always good to double up on some spells because we need a lot of them. Um, level 5 spells now. We could take True Seeing. Always a good one. Flame Strike. Super duper useful. In fact, I think I'm going to take Flame Strike. I am almost certain, and now I've become certain. Flame Strike it is, and we don't get level 6 spells. Okay. Alright. We've successfully killed the Darachne insane thing. We have... A chest to loot. To success. We're gonna go do the next part of this fight in just a second here. I'm gonna pause the video for a moment, and I will be right back. Alright, we're gonna continue on our way. Sorry, I just wandered down. I didn't realize the thing wasn't recording. Nothing has happened. We just got to this area. Uh, there's a giant Morveg. He took a sword from the stone. The young man takes the black sword. His body trembles. Morveg's muscles bulge. They are growing, bulking like froth in a boiling pot. You see a horrible wound on his stomach. That the young man was obviously hiding from you. Now it's a gaping, bleeding hole filled with arm-like, arm-thick snakes. His intestines. Morvig's voice is deep, animal-like. The flame, the fang of malice. The weapon of those who live by war. The weapon blessed by Gorum. The fang will make its owner a deadly, almost invincible warrior that hungers for battle. A warrior who won't retreat, betray, or desert. For battle will become the reason for living. Man becomes weapon. Kyrie would say that such a transformation is a sin, but he doesn't understand. But you will. You will understand what I... What a powerful weapon I'm giving to you. I will show you its power. Prepare to fight. Even now. Dying. Weak. I'm invincible. Rumburger bar. Todan Katar. The giant points the black sword at us. Stop, warrior. Do you think you don't fear death? You simply don't know what it is you should be afraid of. What if you succeed and kill an innocent person? What if you win? Believe me, that is a far worse fate than death. Boy, have you decided to die a hero? Have you thought about the fact that... One of us will have to go see your guardian Kyre and tell him that you died fighting against your own side? Did you stop to think that the old man might not be able to bear the news? Did you think about anything at all? You're wounded, I will help you. 
The old lad gives a grim smile. Too late. A piece of the Directing Stinger is stuck in my guts. It's oozing poison. Only a skilled healer, or only a skilled healer priest in Dresden can take it out, but I won't make it to any city. Anyway, it's alright. I'm a Kellid. I'm a warrior. I'm not afraid of dying. He said something in the Kellid tongue. What does it mean? This is the language of Sarkoris. Two will enter, one will leave. That's what the priests of Gorum used to say when they entered this shrine. Then they conducted a solemn rite and fought to the death for his glory. Today, we too will please Gorum with a fierce battle. He lured me here. Why? First, I wanted to bring the Fang to you in Dresden, but I almost died in my fight with the demon and resigned myself to my fate. But then you came. What a stroke of luck. Madness gleams in Morveg's eyes. I will show you what the Fang of Malice is capable of. You are the commander. You must understand that our war is more important than foolish prejudice. Defeating demons is worth any sacrifice. What is the sword? This is the Fang of Malice. The one who takes into battle will be devoted to war forever. The sword increases the power of its owner and banishes the other thoughts from their mind. Only anger and desire to fight remain forever. The owner of the Fang will never return home. He will look for more and more battles. Gorm's power comes through the sword, turning the warrior into his servant, invincible and mighty. Can you imagine the good this weapon would do in the war against the world wound? How about a dozen of them? They forged a lot of them in Sarkoris. You just have to find similar temples and arm your crusaders with them. I won't fight you. A wild beast appears roar comes out of the lad's chest. Gorum! Apparently we don't have a choice in the matter. Okay, well, let's get this party started. Uh, we don't need to flame strike him, but we do have dispel magic now, and he does have some magic, I believe, to dispel. He has so many spells. They are DC 31, which means we need to roll 20. Super. Alright, so that's basically not going to happen. We hit him, but he didn't take any damage. We can try a greater... No, we can't. We are out of spells for her. We're going to do an evil eye then. Lower his armor class a little. And uh, move forward five feet and then cackle. Just in range. He's going to come in and fight us in a second here. Um, I'm going to put some a summon in the way. Hopefully he'll hit that instead of our one of our characters, but not likely. A mirror image has gone down. Already down one. Sealer's gone in. Main character is going to go in as well. Uh, we did hit him for 221 damage, so that was pretty good. Uh, we're going to do... What are we going to do? We need to get Ember back a little bit. We could try... Ah, uh, there's no point to dispelling him. Let's just get some animated dead to do some flanking. And open fire. Guide my hand. And that's the end of that. Actually, that was way easier than I expected it to be. Last time we did this, I think he one-shot one of my characters. The giant drops to one knee heavily. Something dark, throbbing, and disgustingly alive falls out of the wound in his stomach. My wound is too deep. I'm dying. But you saw what I was capable of, even on the verge of death. Many such weapons were found or were made in Sarkoris. The Fang of Malice, the Fang of Despair, Envy, Suffering, Futility. All of them are interconnected, just as warriors in a unit are tied by the bonds of brotherhood. Take my sword and give it to the priests. Their prophecy or prophecy will point you to the other fangs. Arm your crusaders with them, and victory will be yours. A tiny object slips out of the giant's hand. A little straw wolf. Give this to Kyre and tell him, I did everything I could. I hope you can forgive me. Convulsions racking Morveg's body indicate that the end is near. Ember looks at Morveg with a radiant, soothing smile. Don't worry, it'll all pass soon. You won't be in pain anymore. Is there anything you want me to do for you? The young man grimaces, I'm a little scared. Can you sing me a song, the one my mother sang to me? The whistle of the bowstring calls the vultures to the feast. Do you know it? Ember shakes her head sorrowfully. No, I don't know it. I'm sorry. It's a song about war, right? I don't know many songs about war. You made the demons pay. Like a true warrior, rest in peace. Avenge us. Avenge our chorus. Avenge our ancestors. Our deaths, our humiliation, our poverty. Destroy these beasts. All of them. In summary, he fled from the guardianship of noble paladins just to die in an ancient, dusty dungeon. I feel pity for the boy, but not much. The fury raging in the young man's face slowly fades away. His body goes limp. Alrighty. Well, he's dead. Full plate plus two. Um, there's a lockpick that is actually kind of hard here. Only an 80% chance. Damn. We did successfully do it though. There's the Warden of Darkness, which is a tower shield. 
and uh, a potion of bull's strength as well. There's a bunch of stuff around here as well. There's a lore nature check. Judging by the scraps challenge. of moldering clothes, these two dead men were Sarkorian priests of Gorum. Their positions indicate they died fighting each other. Cool. There's a perception check on this wall, which we should be able to do. I'm glad I was useful. Give us another thing. Belt of Mighty Constitution plus four. The Berlani is uh, or, uh, as Zada didn't do anything at all. The altar of Gorum, the god of battle, radiates an aura of unrelenting fury, which even after the world wound has failed to dampen after all these years. The corruption of the abyss retreated. Sweet. That's pretty good. And I stopped making a sound. Alright, I think that's pretty much it for this area. Let's take a look at that armor. I don't know what our armor is. It's carapace plus three. We have plus three full plate. What does she have? Adamantine plus one, which means I think the full plate plus two will be slightly better in terms of armor class. In fact, that is two armor class higher. So there we go. She also can use tower shields, but she can't use the Warden of Darkness. It is an evil character shield, but it's really good. Uh, plus four tower shield gives the wielder DR5 versus good and a negative two to attack rolls against evil creatures. Can only be worn by evil aligned creatures as well. So unfortunately, it's not good for us, but we'll find a good tower shield for her later. That's not a big deal. I'm going to go around and find all of the um, stones that we need to get to finish this place. And at the beginning of the video, I'll show you the um, the reward for doing so. There's, uh, I think, 10 or something of them around. We've done a bunch of them already, uh, but we'll go through and grab them all. And that will be it for this little area. We're finally done with Winter Sun. It was a bit of a journey. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time. Take care.